Hello people! I don't know what I was doing there. My name is LaserJet People and I'm wearing my Trendsim World 2 hat. Thought it looked nice on camera. I've had an idea. I am doing another model railway review. Why? Well, they don't exactly get the most views on this channel, but I don't care. I just like doing them. But today I've got something that's actually from Hornby. Mm. Now I have to say, I actually bought this at Margate when I actually filmed the uh, Christmas special when I went to see the one-to-one -one collection you know, when I saw Bitter and the Black Five. And I was going through their gift shop and I had a look at this and I went, hmm, I might have that as a souvenir. And the reason why I bought this is because I have a Hornby Mallard, I have a Hornby Flying Scotsman, but I don't actually have this as a Hornby. I actually have it as Bankman and I thought, I need this in my Hornby collection. And uh, it was the only solution I got and boy was it a good one. And it's this, the Hornby Tornado Train Pack! Obviously, I am super excited to actually have a Hornby Tornado for once, but also it comes with some rolling stock because I, I do need some new coaches. So it's nice to buy a locomotive and some coaches uh, for my model railway collection. Smart thinking, Oliver. Good job. But this looks so cool. This has got some great detail. I can't wait to actually get out of this box, show you guys. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad I'm going to be re reviewing, re review, reviewing this. <laughs> now I have to be honest. I have already got this out of its box because I needed to fit a digital chip to it to make this a digital logo. Because you guys are aware that I'm a digital person. But um, I'm going to get this out for you on the box on camera. Don't know why I didn't do it before, but I'm doing it now. So I was just letting you guys know I have already gotten this out of this box as I'm filming this right now. That's okay. But anyway, let's just get into the review, Oliver, because no one really cares of what you want to say. They just want to have a look at the model. Yes, they do. So, uh, I'm not going to go sideways this time. I'm actually going to go down. <laughs> There we go, that's the box. I'm in a very playful mood today. So first things first is want to undo the little flap on the side. Very nice. And just basically just pull it out of its box. Ugh. God, it's very stiff. Ugh. There we go. Ugh. So move the box uh, to one side. Now this, uh, I believe it's the manual, I think. Um, let's have a look. Class A1 Tornado, DCC ready, that's good, that's what I like to see, is the camera in focus, probably not, let me just refix that, let's have a look inside, now I have already looked at this manual and there's a bit of a disappointment, um, the actual uh, DCC uh, plugging bit, which way you fit the decoder to your model to make it a digital loco, uh, normally for like my Merchant Navy or my other tender engines that I've got, uh, they're normally here in the tender, but actually the plugging bit is actually here on the actual engine, which is actually quite annoying because that means I can't actually fit a speaker uh, to this particular model. Uh, I, I guess I could if I like made the speaker wires more longer, but unfortunately... Um, I don't have the solar and iron equipment to do that at, at, at the moment, so maybe that might be something to think of for a later date. Um, but maybe since that the uh, the plug-in bit for the you know digital chip is actually on the locomotive itself, maybe I could actually fit uh, a ooh, what's it called the firebox uh, LED light flicker, so it will give it like a fire effect from inside the cap. So maybe I could do that in the future. Um, so. That's just an idea that I have. Um, let me guys know in the comment section below if I, could, if I should do that because it would be nice to actually have a an engine with a fire effect and sound because oh, that would be so cool, wouldn't it? I mean, I just wish I was that skilled enough to do so. But, you know, I could always have a go and, and learn. So let's put the manual to one side because I'm going to need that for maybe in the future. And now the moment of truth. Uh, oh, it's gone out of focus. It's only focusing on a bit of white sheet. Uh, right, uh, should we do like a countdown? Oh, it's like a review, revealing. There's a big reveal. Um, very exciting. And here it comes. Oh, wow, look at that. Right, we'll put that to one side as well. So we've got three lovely red mark ones with fantastic de detail. We'll get into the, the detail in the coaches in a minute because obviously what we want to see is this. Um, just. 
God, that slides out easy. Right, we'll move that to one side first, and let's have a look at the locomotive itself, because that's what everyone is normally wanting to see, isn't it? So we'll undo that, and I have to be honest, my carpet isn't actually the cleanest. Um, I'm actually going to pop it there, because I don't want actually want to pop the engine on the carpet, because I haven't actually cleaned my carpet in a while. I know, I'm a scruffy person, don't judge me. Um, oh, I've got some detailed bits that have just fallen out. Oh, it comes with a headboard. Okay, I'll have to show you in close up in a minute. But let's get to the locomotive itself. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, it's cold to the touch. Here she is. Uh, now, does the tender actually come off? Yep, the tender comes off separately. That's good. Uh, right, so I'll zoom in with, the, with my special zoom in, although the camera might have gone out of focus, and it's dropped FPS. Uh, I'll, I'll just leave it like that. But there it is. There's Tornado, a Hornby tornado very very nice now later on i will compare this to my backwind tornado and see which one do you guys think is the best um but that just looks fantastic does that have cab detail no it doesn't have cab detail that is a that is a bit of a shame uh but wow look at the detail on this on this on this cab side the wheels the boiler everything it's it's god it's so good looking uh but the one thing i have to say though uh, i'm not sure this type of green looks accurate because it, this green does look a bit in my well, I guess it's just my opinion it does look a bit dark this green or maybe it's the lighting I'm not sure but I'll show you guys quickly the front the front looks very nice excellent detail there uh, God, this is just so amazing it's nice to have a Hornby uh, tornado for my well, my Hornby collection I suppose because I've, I've got a Hornby uh, Bitten and Mallard and a Hornby Flying Scotsman. I've actually got a, a several Hornby Flying Scotsmans, but it's nice to have a Hornby Tornado as well to sort of like go with the collection. It, it is very nice. And here is the tender. The tender has got a bit of weight to it, even though like there's like you know nothing in it, although just weight. But I'll put the two together so you guys can actually see. I'll move my hand away so you guys can see that. Okay. Very nice. That looks really cool. I cannot wait to, to show you guys what this thing looks like when it's on the move. Uh, so I'll pop Tornado to one side. Now on to the coaches. Now I don't actually review coaches, so this is quite you know different for me. Uh, but we'll start with this one because this one is a very nice coach because it actually has a nice yellow strip uh, on the top side, which is very nice. I'm, I'm guessing that's like the, the like the, the first coach or first class or something. I'm, I'm not sure. Or the leader coach or something. I, 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 I know nothing about coaches. Um, all I know is that uh, this one is a very nice maroon red colour, I think. But it does look nice though, doesn't it? I mean... I even love the uh, the detail on the uh, on the axle and the uh, suspension springs. They they look very nice. That's that's actually a very nice coach. So we'll put that one to one side. And I think these two are are well, they're not ag exactly the same. But we've got like a another passenger coach, which looks very nice. I know nothing about coaches, so if you have to forgive me. And I think this is a a, a brake coach because right? yeah, this is a this is a brake coach. And if my camera will stay in focus. Um, yeah, this the, I don't, as I said, I know nothing about coaches, but I think this is a brake coach, and that's all I know. Um, that's nice. So it's, it's actually nice to actually have an engine that comes with rolling stock. And what is in here? Oh, some extra bits of detail, like bits and pieces, like you know, I think these are like knuckle covers for the coaches. We'll put that back in there for now. Okay, so I guess uh, onto the layout really, and um, pop it on the tracks and see what it's like. Yeah. Right, so there we have both my tornadoes on the layout. We've obviously got the Backman one and the Hornby one. Now, I have customised my Backman tor tornado a lot uh, with a nice gloss finish. Um, but obviously, um, I'm not actually a massive fan of Backman. Although, Backman do make some cool stuff, I have to say. I can't falter that. But... Um, I just, I just think it's so cool to have two different tornadoes next to each other, and they're, they're both very, very close, aren't they? Of like, like this, like the the, the colour, the size, because I know it's, it's obviously the same engine, but like, even though like two different companies have made the same model, it is actually very close. But when I look at the two together, and this might sound weird, but the shade of green they use for the Backman tornado, to me, that green looks better than the one that Hornby used because I'm not saying that because you know it's got a gloss finish but like if you I mean you might, might not pick up on camera but like the the shade of green is actually different on both models or maybe that's just me being weird but it is really nice to have them both together it's got to be said 
So first things first we're going to do is our famous cruel test to see how well it runs at super slow speed. So it's going to give us a little bit of power, even though that this is a DCC engine. Starting off very nice and slow. Uh, oh, it's cut out. Although maybe it's because it's on these horrible big long express points. Um, maybe that might be the problem. Let's make it go in reverse. See if that might run better. Let's have a look. There we go. Very nice, slowly. Oh, it's very, it's a bit juddery. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but it is quite, I might zoom in a little so you guys can see. Oh, oh, oh my Lord, what happened there? It just jumped, although maybe it, it might be the chip, because um, I have to be honest, this is quite an old digital chip I'm using. I'm actually using it from an older model, which I'm not gonna say, but, um, Maybe it's best I don't review brand new engines with second-hand chips. Maybe that's not a good idea. Note to self, Oliver, never use uh, second-hand chips on a brand new model, but never mind. Yeah, look at that. That, <laughs> that was, that's very bouncy. I don't think it's actually the motor, uh, or the, the, sorry, the loco itself that's doing that. It's because of the, the old chip I'm using, so uh, I, don't, I don't actually blame the loco for that. Oh my god, that's very bouncy, isn't it? Or maybe, is it cut out? Yeah, I think it, oh no, it hasn't cut out. Oh, maybe it has, I don't know. Maybe it will give us a little bit more power, so it doesn't keep. Oh, what happened there? Oh, my uh, class 39 decided to do its horn. I didn't even press anything. I was, I was just looking, look, I was just looking at the controller. Like, here's the controller and I wasn't even, I didn't even press anything. That's, that's, uh, that's weird. Maybe it's got a mind of its own. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's possessed. That's a bit better, isn't it? Let's make it go backwards. I don't know why the class 50 sounded its, well 59 sorry, the class 59 sounded its horn, that's so weird. Made me jump actually. That's a bit better isn't it? Maybe it just need warming up. There you go, very nice. Let me go forward again. And if I have to be honest, Tornado is built for speed, not like, in the, you know, doing shunting or siding work. It is, it is, a, it is an, a main line express train. There we go, very nice. Okay, so I think what we should do now is hook it up with some of its coaches that it came with and see what it looks like. Yeah, let's 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 uh let's do it on camera actually. I'm gonna give it a little bit of power. Let me zoom out a little bit because um those of you who don't know. Oh there's Oh, it's cut it out. Yeah, sorry, uh, I'm getting a bit distracted. For those of you who don't know, I've actually started building some stations again. Hey hey! I'm actually adding uh, scenery. Uh, to my layout and tornado it has cut out again this this track is awful I have to say as well this need not a lot of new things I need a new chip and I need a lot of new track maybe I should stop buying some engines and buy some more uh, tracks and better chips that is a very good idea Oliver that's actually the best idea you've got so we'll switch points and put it in reverse let's see We'll hook up to its coaches, as I've already left on the platform. There we go. And we're coupled up. Very nice. In fact, I have to be honest, I have given it more than just three coaches because uh, this is the coach, obviously, that it came in the box with, and these two coaches here and here are the ones that came in the box. But I decided to add another three coaches because I thought pulling just three coaches would look silly. So I gave it another three, so I thought six will do just nicely. It does look very nice, doesn't it? Um, and also, the station is a work of progress. I know it looks terrible at the moment, but like, you know, I've never built scenery before, so the station and the platforms and stuff is a work in progress. Anyway, let's get our train moving. So, uh, well, let's get Tornado moving, I should say. Let's give it, I'd say, 35% power on my controller. Oh, a bit of a juddery start, but never mind. And away she goes. Very nice. This is a little bit more power. There you go, Tornado. That's what I'm looking for. I'm actually glad I've added all these coaches instead of just three, because three coaches, it's not enough. But six looks marvellous. If my camera would focus in, there we go. 
It was like a proper express train. Let's give it a bit more power. It looks really cool, especially from a distance. Look at that. Right, I think that's enough. So I think we'll pull Tornado in the station. If the camera will stay in focus, we'll slow the train down just a little bit. But lovely in the station. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. And stop. Very nice. Hey, <laughs> not so bad. Obviously, it needs a better chip because it's quite jumpy. But apart from that, it's uh oh, it looks so good isn't it? Are we in the station? Yeah, look, we're fully in the station. Just. Uh maybe I might need a longer platform. Hmm. Nah. Now what I said before about the green not looking quite right, I take it all back. It's just because of the lighting. The lighting in this room isn't very good, but Everything I said about it before, well, anything negative I said about this before, uh, I am completely wrong. I take back everything I say. This is a fantastic, fantastic, can't speak properly. This is a fantastic model, and I, I, I really love it so much. It's so nice to run. Now, I'm not just going to leave this model as it is. I'm not going to, like, pop it back in its box and then, you know, whoop de doo uh, I'm going to find a way to fit sound to it, which is going to be a bit tricky. Um, and I also want to fit um, a firebox fire glow in in the cab bit so like you know we'll get a nice cool like fire glow from the cab so that that is also something i want to do so i want to fit this with sound and i want to fit it with lights now how am i going to do this i haven't got a clue but if you guys want me to do that uh leave your answer in the comment section down below if you want me to fit this model with lights and sound because uh the sound bit will be pretty interesting to do uh but the firebox glow is something i actually want to 
learn a skill of. That just probably doesn't make sense. Um, but you, you guys know what I mean. I want, I want to learn how to fit lights on a steam engine because even though i have fitted lights to a particular loco uh before but that's um exterior lights i want to fit interior lights to see um how well it will look so that's that is what i've got um as an idea if you guys want me to do that then leave your answer in the comment section down below if i should do that with tornado because i mean oh, come on who does not like tornado tornado is a very well known and a very well loved steam engine but that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, all the links to that are in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. Because, you know, it, it, it gives me, like, pride and joy and pleasure to give you guys some amazing content on this channel. So uh, drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Uh, but thank you so much again uh, for watching. I'm just so excited because we are at 79,500 subscribers right now. So close to the big... 80,000 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, take care, my friends, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now.